Hello guys, DB Grindy here, back at it again with another video, and this time we are going to have two matches in one video, and they're both worth $10 each, so the winner of each match will win $10. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord link down below at the very top of the description. If you want to go ahead and play in any wagers like this, then we're going to see GG Jibriel XD versus Roberto 1256. Also, if you want the DDG spreadsheet, make sure to hit up Jib on Discord, I'll leave that down below under the Coliseum Discord link. Then we're going to see Jib win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And they'll decide to go first. 41 versus 42. Opening hands. Yeah, so we're going to see $10 money matches. Swamp King, Ash. Dark Contract with the Gate. Griffin. And then Map. So this is definitely a combo. Then they have Gamma, Chalice, Nerval, Celestial, Chalice. Um... Okay, interesting to see Chalice. Very, very interesting to see Chalice. We see Gamma, at least, so we have one hand trap. Activate, go search, go grab Cope, then lose 4,000. Normal summon effect, they let this go. You know, that could have been like a, you know, a decent spot to try to interrupt. Uh, they would have played through it, but. Griffin special summon out. Because you could like activate, go search Lamia, yeah, get rid of the special summon Lamia. Yeah. Griffin summon itself out. That's just like one way to do it. There might be another way to play through it too. Summon effect. Then they're going to chain gamma. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Effect. Special summon. Yeah. Cool. Uh, go ahead. Special summon out. Marksman. King tell. Activate the effect to go search of gate. Grab Thomas. Activate Thomas, effect to grab back, and then let's get to grab Griffin. Thing is, their hand just doesn't even do anything. But how do you get the 42 cards in this deck? It just blows my mind. Sometimes people are like, I can't get this deck under 40, like I'm stuck at 43, and I have the opposite problem. I'm stuck, I'm stuck at like 38, and I'm like, how do I get this deck to 40, like with the reasonable cards? And it's like, I don't know, it's just crazy. I like. I always have, like, the other problems, like, the different problems that other people have. And then go for Flame King. Then we're going to get the effect. That will go dump. So, they're going to go ahead and dump the Vice Typhoon. And then Necro Slime, Banish, bring out the Flame King. Uh, activate the other Flame King effect, especially when we back out the Griffin from the Graveyard. And then activate the Griffin effect to go search. So, they can go search a DD card from their deck to the hand. That's going to go grab Headhunt. Overlay for Wave, then Vice, uh, Banish, summon out the Flame High King. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, goes for Dark. And then go for this. All right. I mean, that works. I mean, it's, it's the same outcome, but you get to keep like the good thing in the extra. Like, they are playing Dark. You know, we see that now. <laughs> this, how, go to Grave, fused it from hand. Yeah, it was Swamp. Pass, they draw Imperm. Nothing they do matters. I don't know why you'd summon and reveal what deck you're on. <laughs> Headhunt just beats you even if you had a better hand. And they're going to be going first. Game two, opening hands. You have Swirl Slime, Kepler, Gate, Kepler, and Nibs. So they have one going second card. They have Nerval, Droplet, Chalice, Kit, Cosmic. All right, so the hand does something that's not optimal. Go for Omirage, Nerval effect. Go search out Kuraz. Special summon out Kuraz by discarding Kit. Not using Kit effect. That's interesting. So I had someone talk on my bird deck profile. They're like, your deck's so bad. I'm the original creator of bird. You don't play kit. And it's like, ah, uh, like you, you have to play kit. You really do. Like the extra dump like never matters off of this card. In this scenario, it actually does matter. Um, but like, it's just a good card to draw. Like with Warbler, kit is good. With Kuraz, kit is good. Having an extra Tri-Brigade body is okay. You can grind a lot better with Kit. Like, if you don't have Kit in your deck, I don't know how you grind with your Tri-Brigade engine. Like, it's impossible. With one, fair enough. You can still do it. And why are they summoning Blossom here? You're supposed to Kit dump, make Bear Bloom in the silver. You don't do this. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Uh, blossom, draw, put back, draw, nib, put back, droplet, and they summon nib. Yeah, this ain't what I would do. Oh, God, no. I like... No. Uh, okay, well, they have Cosmic, Chalice, Nib, no follow-up. 
They don't even have enough engraved to really do anything. Like, they can banish two. I guess they they went through their anaconda which is like a lot of like the follow-up which is like the banish two plays swirl slime they have a lot of multiples in hand by the way get rid of swirl slime kepler go for flame king and then swirl slime banish a special summon out bring out kepler kepler effect chain link one flame king chain link two so special summon out kepler from the graveyard and then go search out the swamp king activate the gate Gate effect, they're letting this go through, so they're not going to cosmic it or anything. Grab Necro Slime, then get rid of those, go for Link 2, activate effect, chain chalice on it. Said, ye, think, going for the XYZ, so that's the fifth summon, right? Because 2 into Link, plus, yeah, okay, just making sure you have fifth summon. Uh, end of main, activate nib, so tribute, summon, pass over the token. Hmm, think here. They're gonna activate the Swamp King Chain Cosmic to go ahead and hit that. That works. The only problem is they have no engine. Yeah, pass. It's like, hmm. Imagine if they went for like Revolt. They'd have Tri Brigade follow up. Oh, imagine. Like, Worst comes to worst, you could even just normal summon Ash, Anaconda, and that's something. Standby phase, lose a thousand, main phase effect to go search, chain Ash Blossom. Just hoping for the best there with that Ash. Activate Swirl Slime, they admit defeat. So, moving on into the next game, we're going to see Jib up $10, and then we're going to see Roberto win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, decide to go first, opening hands, we have Ash, Dark Contract, Gate, Kepler, Map, they have Nib, Cat, Caress, Fractal, Gamma, oh, so they're playing like the Pier build, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense, we didn't see a bird yet, Pier build is definitely a build, oh my, wait, hold on, oh no, it's game. Summon, effect, tribute, chain ash, chain gamma, it just, it, it's wraps, it's wraps. Summon, summon, I guess we can see what combo they're going for. Summon out kit, going into the next game. <laughs> I just want to see if they're going for fabled or not. We're going to be seeing Jib go first here, opening hands, we have Lancia, Necro Slime, Cerberus, Map, Swirl Slime. You definitely make them play that through because they played bad game one. Like, there's definitely a chance like not game one i guess uh game two match one they played bad so you definitely make them play that through but now we have lantia which is insane versus that deck necro slime cerberus map swirl slime they have driver droplet mine crash droplet mine doesn't really work against this deck it's like they just pop it so go grab cope lose four thousand normal summon effect Dump Griffin, they just don't have like a hand trap here. So they're able to just full combo, get rid of those. Summon out Flame King. Banish to go into Flame King. And then the first Flame King effect, the special summon out Griffin from the graveyard. Griffin effect to go search. And then that's gonna search Headhunt from the deck to the hand. Overlay, then slap those into that. Effect. Go ahead and bring out the Orthros and Ragnarok. Orthros is their Alchemistic Mine. As the spell trap removal. While being a spell in the Pendulum Zone. Pendulum summon out three. Overlay. Go for Wave King Caesar. Turn those into the Link 2. Wave King Caesar effect to go search for a Dark Contract. It's going to go grab Swamp King. Then activate. Go into the XYZ. Effect special summon back, lose a thousand. And then go into the marksman king tell effect, burn for a thousand, turn those into the link, effect to go dump. So dump Lamia, Lamia effect, get rid of the link, summon itself out, and then swamp. Swamp is gonna banish for dark and it can synchro off. Summon out Siegfried. Set headhunt. So now they have Lancia, headhunt, this to go snatch, this to negate, and this is a double negate. Pass, draw revolt. Drop Lancia, play around prosperity. 
Activate mine. Chain to negate it until end phase. Then they're going to droplet. I really don't see a point of droplet in there. There's literally no point of using droplet. You're not playing those turns, so why? Like, a actually, why droplet? I, I just want to know their thought process. Like, oh my gosh, they're going to negate Mystic Mine. What are they going to do afterwards? They're going to headhunt Take Mine? No. You just, you just say, cool. It's going to be live during end phase. They're going to pop a next turn with Orthros. You lose a thousand here. They're able to Orthros pop the Swamp King. So that way they don't have, like, a chance of losing through that. Attack, attack. Then main phase two. Pass, draws fusion destiny. Now they're going to activate fusion destiny. Chain to try to negate. We will not chain and revolt. Chain drop, like, get rid of fusion destiny. Don't negate this because this doesn't do anything now. So they're going to negate the XYZ. Summon out enforcer. Also, wouldn't you not use Siegfried and you just use this? I don't know why you would use this. Definitely use that. Yeah, 100%. And then battle phase, attack. They're going to activate headhunt on the attack. Chain enforcer. So enforcer is going to pop itself in this. And then we're going to be getting the effects here. So go ahead, grab gate, graveyard effect. Pass, draw field spell, standby phase, enforcer comes out, activate. So now, like they know the set's revo, which doesn't do anything. So now they're just going up against an enforcer. They have a take right here. They have a pop if they want to go ahead and pop revo, but they know it's revo, so you don't really need to. Swirl slime, get rid of those. The opponent's going to admit defeat. Moving on into game three now, we are going to see. The Tri Brigade deck go first. Opening hands, we have Griffin, Kepler, Talents, Imperm, Nib. Oh, this hand's wild. You got Hand Trap, Hand Trap, going second card, Starter, Extender. You have Kuraz, Kit, Fractal, Lancia, Cosmic. Okay, special now Kuraz, getting rid of Kit. Kit effect. A, hey, let's go. Kit, dump Nerval, Improvements, Improvements, Nerval effect to go search. Um, Nerval, go search out Fractal. And then Kuraz effect, banish two, summon out Blossom, then get rid of the... There's no way! There's no way! Like, you're not an Anaconda deck! I don't, like, I don't know why you think your deck's an Anaconda deck. It's not. You have Enforcer in the deck, but it's not what you're supposed to do 24-7. Like, ah. <sighs> Ah, Blossom, draw, put back. Draw, Valor, put back. Anaconda effect. I guess, like, technically this is better through Imperm only. Because, like, you would Appaloosa and Revolt, and they would, like, Imperm the Appaloosa on their turn. But, like, I just, I don't get the thought process. I'm gonna be honest. Summon Fractal. And then Fractal Effect, Banish. We see Bear Bloom there. Get rid of those. Go for Silver. Bear Bloom Effect. Search Revolt. Put back. So grab that. Then putting back Lancia. End of main. Drop Nib. Pass over the token. In defense. Has zero defense. 28 attack. And then Normal Summon Out Kepler. Uh, Kepler effect to go search, grab gate, so just saving Valor for the Link 2, which I can respect. They're going to Cosmic, the gate, Griffin special summon out, don't revolt here. Oh my god, they're going to revolt here. Uh, dude, the, 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 don't do the thank you phase, don't do the thank you phase. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, you don't do this. They make Link 2, you Valor, and that's like solid. It's like pretty solid. I guess if they have an extender, you just Valor anyways, but I think you just Valor the link to, you have Nerval, Omen, Omen, Banish, Nerval, Search at that point. Hmm. I guess this isn't that bad. It's just like, why? 
And you do nerve all too? Oh my, there's the, what the? Why are you playing money matches with this deck? You don't know how to play it yet. Activate talents to draw. Draws gamma and swirl slime. They're in a battle phase, beat over, and then crash. Okay, so lose 3,000. Why would they be doing this? They're doing this because next turn they're going to omen crash to go search out Nerval to try to play. And then they have Gamma to negate Omen. Okay. Draw called by. Oh, once again, if you just didn't go through your Anaconda, oh my gosh, you would have plays. <sighs> Battle phase crash. Like, yeah, you just openly accepting Gamma with full arms. Uh, I guess you kind of have to do it there. Otherwise, they get the summon gamma on their turn. Yeah, those get banished end phase, draw talents, then set talents pass, draw tanky. Okay, okay. And they scoop. Yeah, that's fair. They do lose. But there's no way you scoop to that, though. Like, after how your opponent's been playing, there's no way you scoop to tanky. You definitely let tanky go through. They might forget to add. You never know. There, there's a chance, right? There's a chance. You're up 10, 20, sorry, 10, right? 20, right? Well, they're up nothing in this. But I guess they did all their money matches. Uh, offered a rematch, gotta go, play tomorrow. I'll PM PayPal. I'm busy for the rest of the week, to be honest. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and see nobody win any money there. Kind of a weird way for a money match to go, but it happens. It happens. Uh, again, if you want to check out the Coliseum, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. Uh, if you want to message Jib to get the DDG spreadsheet for $25, you can go ahead and message his Discord. I'll leave a link. Not a link, but his Discord username down below in the description. And... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to do some money matches with my bird deck to get some better bird money match replays. I, I've been thinking about doing money matches for the channel. I wanted to do an Iron Man, but also at the same time, like Iron Man just take forever. So it's like as much as I want to do one at the same time, I just don't because it takes forever. Like you have to do like five matches like, five matches takes a while. Like, a while, while. And it's like, I don't know if it's worth. But maybe I'll run some... Oh, maybe I'll run some tens, right? Some $10 money matches. What's the worst that happens? I lose $10? Oh, well. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Hmm. Let me, let me know down below in the comments if I should actually do that or not. I feel like that's, like, something I should be doing. Alright, but... Well, that being said, the DB Grinder, signing off, peace, have a nice day, stay safe.